everyone, Odie and Dignity here. Now today, we're going to be doing a review on this, the 2022 Wooden Railway Henry. Now I already know what you're thinking, oh I'm getting sick of this style of video, stop reviewing the 2022 line, and honestly, I'm getting sick of making these as well, so I'm going to do Gordon and I'm, I'm going to do as much, many more as I can, and then I'm going to start working on my series, ignore my um finger, it's messy, I was just... Of fixing a train with Sharpie marker and um, it's smudged and I can't get it off. So sorry for that. Well, the box obviously Thomas Wooden Railway logo, Thomas Wooden Railway thing. Now Hen now had the languages Henry, Henry, and We've got this indicating you have to open it. Yada yada yada. I've already reviewed this these boxes many times. Twenty one ninety nine at Barnes and Noble. So. Let's review this. Let me just put the box off to the side. And now, here we have our locomotive. Now, I absolutely love this piece. Or, well, pieces, because it's a locomotive and a tender. But, man, just, just looking at this. They, they, there's just everything that you need. This is perfect. It's got the accurate 460 wheel arrangement with the uh, top feed and dome, the accurate firebox, the big tender, which Henry has, the big number three, and the six wheels on the tender, Henry's tender, Henry, um, look at that. The font on Henry's tender is a little bit bigger than Henry. Interesting. So... Let's look at the details of them now because um, I'm just so excited to review this because I just love the 2022 Wooden Railway Henry. Now, the face, I'm not digging the face here. I think the eyes have to be a little bigger and closer together. I think that the eyebrows need to be smaller, but that's just a nitpick. I like the classic series um, Henry face better. We've got um, the firebox with the uh, fire, I l the glowing fire, excuse me. I love that. Um, I've already went through the bottom, but I just, um, did you see this? This has on other Wooden Railway 2022s, but they, like, have this weird plastic. Did I just call them Wooden Railway 2022s? I meant to switch Wooden Railway and 2022 around. Okay, now, the top feed and dome are plastic, but on, and, and my dome, look at this, can you see that? It's kind of, like, loose. I just noticed that. Let's see if the top feeds look the same. No, the top feed is nice and tight. We've got not no side rod details, only right here. I guess they're, they're going down, like, over here on the wheels or something. I hate splashers on Henry. I hate the splashers, but I love this model. This is just so cool. It looks just like the LMS Black 5. We've got exhaust pipes sticking out there. Right here, sorry. Um... There's no windows, unfortunately, but this model just really captures Henry, and I'm just so excited that they made such a perfect model. Unnecessary rivets, but not too many. The lining um, is a little bit nasty. I don't like how it's like, th how there isn't one like right here, but that's just, that's just a little nitpick. And um, we've got the nice red on the running board, and it goes down over the edge right here. And I just love this model. And now something that this wooden railway did better than the show is um in the show he hangs the this the cab hangs way over the wheels. And I think that's unstable. Like he, is the cab's gonna like dip back. But honestly, this one makes it look a lot better. And the wheel even sticks over the cab, which I like that. And now let's look at the tender. Let's put this beautiful model off to the side. Now Unfortunately, it has three wheels, but on as well as on the uh, model itself. Don't know why they do that. Um, the uh, that's just horrible. Yeah, we got a plastic chassis. Uh, I don't really have nothing to say about this tender, but I, I wish Henry's tender in the show went like this instead because I just think that looks so much better than this. But uh, this is just such an iconic feature of Henry of his tender going like that with the dip on this side rather than this side. But anyway, we've got, um, oh, what's that? Is that a marker? No, it was just a little thing. 
Oh, a little blemish right there. Hang on, let me focus. Come on, camera, focus. There's a little blemish next to the number three. It's still minuscule. You can't see it. And he's also, unfortunately, looks like he has some water damage right here. You can see it in real life, but not really on the train. You can kind of see it right there. Um, once again, these weird little rectangles on the bottom. I'm just making sure it's not a factory error. It's not. So, good thing it's not. But, oh, hang on. The shade of green on the wheels is a little bit better than on the locomotive. It looks a little bit more blue on the locomotive than on the wheels. Or the tender and the locomotive, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention beautiful buffer beam right there. No buffer beam or lamp on the back. But like I said, Henry's going to be pulling rolling stock like Thomas and Edward most of the time. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a nice coal load. And um, I think that's about it, honestly. I think there really isn't that much more to cover for Henry. And I've also got another wooden railway. Before I tell you my score on Henry, I'm just so excited that I got this. Boko! I just received him today as recording this. I've not even had him for an hour yet. So, my grandma bought me this. Thank you so much, Oma. This is so cool. I love this. Uh, it, unfortunately, it does have some damage, but I fixed that. But honestly, the damage on the older trains, I think it's quite cool, honestly. Um, it's, it's only on the decals, really, which is like, this is kind of like messed up. The BR pressed on this side is better than this side, but sorry, Boko, this is not about your video. Also, one thing, I might get the old styles of the wooden railways of the uh, 2022s instead. I might replace them in the future because I think that it would just, these would just, the old styles would fit in nicer with the, these, sorry. But honestly, I love the accuracy of these, so I might not do that. But now I'm going to give you my score on this Henry. Now I'm giving this Henry a 9.4 out of 10. Yeah, you heard me, 9.4. And that puts him in first place, the highest ranked wooden railway model yet. But there is some competition. I'm looking at you, James. I'm looking at you, Percy, and Diesel as well. Those are really accurate as well. So that is it for Henry. I'm very happy with this model. I love it. So I'm talking very happy like I made this custom, like if it's a custom. But no, I'm just very happy with this. I'm very happy with Mattel for actually making something that isn't um, dull water for once. But um, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you all for watching if you've made it this far. Odie and Dignity, signing off.